What is up everybody? This is Corey Maru here with a brand new video that I wanted to make for you guys who are tuning in on the Summer Game Fest live stream this week. Especially for those who are into Sega video games. And let me tell you, Sega is really cooking in 2023. During the Summer Game Fest, Sega surprisingly announced a brand new 2D Sonic title called Sonic Superstars and revealed the first gameplay footage of Like a Dragon Gaiden with both games set to be released in fall 2023. And man, just watching these trailers made me and my friends jump with so much excitement because we knew that we we're gonna be eating good this year. In this video, I'll be doing an analysis on both titles and share details with you all. Let's go ahead and start off with Sonic Superstars. Sonic Superstars is an all new Sonic the Hedgehog game bringing a new standard of play to classic high speed 2D Sonic platforming. In Sonic Superstars, Sonic and his friends journey start on a beautiful North Star Islands, a mysterious place offering never before seen environments as well as mysterious story waiting to unfold. Enormous creatures, auxiliary adventures, and evil plans from Dr. Eggman await Sonic and his friends who can now obtain brand new abilities known as the Emerald Powers when Chaos Emeralds are collected. The game features 2D classic Sonic style platforming with new zones, music, gameplay, and modern Ultra HD visuals made for current generation platforms. According to the press from Sega, it states that Sonic's movements, physics, and controls feel familiar and appeal to recent and legacy fans alike. In this new title, you can play as Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and even Amy Rose in this new Sonic title with their own unique abilities, and it seems that the game will feature a new gameplay mechanic that will allow you to use the power of the Chaos Emeralds to unlock new abilities such as climbing up waterfalls, powering up, and creating clones of yourself to defeat enemies. Speaking of enemies, notice this familiar character lurking in the background at the beginning and the end of the trailer? That's right, Fane the Sniper is back after a long absence since the Game Gear games and he'll be working together with Eggman along with a brand new character that Sonic and his friends will have to face against in the game who was designed by none other than Sonic's original creator Nyoto Oshima. Just by looking at the gameplay itself from several sources, graphic wise it kinda gives me a vibe of Sonic the Hedgehog 4 with a little mix of the classic Sonic trilogy and the Sonic Advance slash Rush gameplay elements where you can see Sonic grinding in a new zone called Speed Jungle. While the comparison to Sonic 4 is apparent, Game Informer made a hands-on preview stating that Sonic Superstars veers closer to Sonic Mania, which is a very good sign, and it will also feature brand new zones that fans have been asking for, so don't worry, Green Hill Zone will definitely not make an appearance in this game for sure. The bonus stages and special stages shown in the trailer look pretty awesome visually to me. One of them seems very similar to the Knuckles Chaotic bonus stage. They've even brought back the special stages from Sonic 1 as well. What I'm mostly excited for in Sonic Superstars is the option to play co-op with friends, which we haven't had in the Sonic game since Sonic Advance 3 and Sonic 4 Episode 2. It looks like it will be a lot of fun to play with friends and I'm hoping we can play the game together competitively as well. Unfortunately, it's local co-op only but there's always an option to use Parsec or even SharePlay to try out with friends online as long as everyone has a good connection. Until then, it looks like we'll have to wait and play this game for ourselves to see how it truly plays when the game comes out this fall. But overall, I'm pretty excited to try out Sonic Superstars this year. Now on to the next Sega game shown at the Summer Game Fest. We got a first look at Like a Dragon Gaiden gameplay during the show. And man, this game looks amazing in the Dragon Engine as many other Like a Dragon games before it. Taking place between Yakuza 6 and 7, the legendary Kiryu is back as an agent with a new name and identity in order to protect his family. Now he thrusts onto conflict by a mysterious figure attempting to drive him out of hiding. Judging from the gameplay, it looks like you'll be fighting 10 times more enemies than previous games with two fighting styles to choose from such as Yakuza to unleash aggressive moves against enemies like in previous games, and Agent Style where it allows you to attack enemies with speed and precision while using high-tech gadgets like electrified bind wires to stun enemies and grab items. As with other Yakuza titles, Gaiden will feature three locations to explore such as Sultanburi, Yokohama, and the Mysterious Castle as well as a crap ton of mini games we're all familiar with like Karaoke, Cabaret Clubs, Pocket Circuits, and Submissions where the informant Akime provides you with details. Towards the end of the trailer, it reveals a DLC pre-order bonus where you can have a cage fight against the legacy characters such as Daigo, Majima, and Sajima in a mysterious container ship located in Osaka Bay to test your skills. I hope we can see some more details on the story and activities during the RGG Summit stream soon as I am interested in seeing what transpires between the games and personally, I want to see some new Sega Model 2 arcade games playable in this title. Fingers crossed for either Last Bronx or Dynamite Cop. 
That's all the details I have on both games so far, and these announcements got me really fired up, bursting with excitement. In other news, I plan on traveling to Japan for Tokyo Game Show with my friend Dakota, and I hope Sonic Superstars and Like a Dragon Gaming is playable at the show floor for us to get more hands-on experience with the games and share my thoughts in future videos. What are your personal thoughts on these two Sega games coming out this fall? Feel free to leave a comment below in the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Sega content on this channel. Until then, I'll see you all later.